Scoliosis and the degrees of curvature is what normally dictates what type of treatment you'll be recommended in a traditional or even a conservative treatment option. But first of all, to kind of understand the size of curvature and how it dictates your treatment, I want to spend a second talking to you about how you define scoliosis, number one, and then two, and its severity. First of all, scoliosis is diagnosed as a sideways curvature of the spine of 10 degrees or more, and it must include rotation. Once you're greater than 10 degrees, but less than 25 degrees, this is where it's called a mild scoliosis. Um, if it's greater than 25 degrees, but less than 40, this is where it's called a moderate scoliosis, and then curves greater than 40 are considered severe. Now, normally that's where the category stop, but I, like, I say there's actually a fourth category, which is something called very severe scoliosis, and this is where curves that are greater than 80 plus. I definitely believe there's a difference between curves between 40 and 80 and 80 and greater. Now, in all of these cases, treating kids at a younger age is the most important factor in getting a great reduction or a great improvement over their lifetime. And the reason why, because the majority of these degrees are normally developed during growth, meaning growth is the number one reason why we see progression in a scoliosis case. So therefore, we want to treat it before that happens or either during that's happening so we can get the best impact on what the ultimate size of their curve is going to be. There's no way to predict how much a curve will progress during growth, so we have to assume that growth, growth will lead to a risk of progression, and that risk of progression is the unknown variable. But if it was my son or my child or my spine for that matter, I would never want to see a curve progress. I would much rather reduce a small curve to smaller. So what are the treatment options associated with a mild scoliosis? Well, first of all, when it comes to traditional treatment, there is nothing. Curves less than 25 degrees, they don't recommend anything. For children or for adults, they recommend no treatment at all. They just say, let's watch and wait. In both cases, while you're watching and waiting, more likely you're going to see some curve progression. You may see it fast as a child, you may see it slow as an adult, but there's going to be some progression at some point, either as a child or adult. So there's no benefit in letting a small curve become bigger. In our approach, more of a functional approach to scoliosis, what we would recommend at this stage is to actually intervene with some care. And we would wanna intervene with some chiropractic care, some in-office rehab, some home therapy, and, and sometimes in this cases, we would recommend a corrective brace. Now, it just really depends in the smaller case that sometimes we recommend corrective bracing, sometimes we don't, it just really depends. But it would be a, a, one of those four things or all those four things or maybe three of those four things depending on what we think will give us the best result for the patient. All these th the approaches that I talked about are scoliosis specific, meaning it's not general chiropractic, not general rehab, not general exercises, not general bracing. It's all scoliosis specific designed for that patient to get the very best result possible. Once curves break 25 degrees, but less than 40, this is where they're recommended a moderate scoliosis treatment option. This moderate scoliosis treatment option in a traditional approach is really one of two. About half the doctors would recommend something called a Boston brace or either a Charleston bending brace or a Providence brace. These are all braces are pretty much acting very similar. They're kind of squeezing the spine and trying to stop progression. The definition of success is that it slows progression down. That's all it's trying to do. Or the other half of the doctors would say, there's nothing to do, just watch and wait, because they don't believe these squeezing braces are effective in stopping scoliosis anyway, so they would recommend watch and wait. I've seen it both sides. It just depends on the doctor or the big surgeon that you're seeing, whether they believe in bracing or don't. Um, unfortunately, doing nothing, once curves break 25 degrees, doing nothing and their person's still growing, has a high probability of progressing every single time they grow. And with uh, these squeezing style braces, they're the number one brace used in the United States and we have some of the highest surgical rates in the world when it comes to scoliosis. So we know these, these types of braces are not super effective in actually reducing curvatures at all. They're just trying to slow it down. 
what can be done in a functional approach? Well, number one, in the functional approach to scoliosis, we, again, we're trying to reduce the curve, not just hold it. So our definition of success is not that we're just slowing it down, is that we're actually reducing the curve and making it smaller during this progressive stage of scoliosis. So number one, of course, we're gonna use specific chiropractic care um, in a scoliosis patient to try to reduce the curve. We can use specific scoliosis rehabilitation and therapy in the clinic to help reduce the curve. We can use specific home exercises in isometric style and also general scoliosis specific exercises to, to manage that, reduce that curvature. And in this case, we would recommend a brace, but we're not gonna be using a squeezing brace, we're gonna be using corrective bracing that's gonna be designed with all the other treatments that we just talked about to actually reduce the curve. And again, our definition of success is not that it just stays the same or slows down, we wanna reduce the curvature at that point. So now what are the treatment options for when a curve becomes severe? Meaning once you start breaking 40 degrees, what are the treatment options? When it comes in a traditional approach, at this point is when they start considering surgery. And that's the only real treatment that's going to reduce the curve. They may recommend a brace to do just to try to hold it where it is, but it's not going to reduce the curve at all because that's what the brace is designed to do. So really, to reduce the curve at this severe stage is only really one treatment they recommend, and that's surgical. Now, what I find interesting, and I've said this before, is that at 40 degrees is when they consider surgery, and at 25 degrees, they do nothing. There's a 15 degree window in which they have a treatment option for scoliosis patients, and then the treatment option is only to slow the, the curve progression. In a functional approach to scoliosis, where we're trying to restore function back into the spine to actually reduce the curve, and not only stop progression, but actually reduce some of the progression that has occurred. The goal is very, very different. We wanna get the curve smaller, so the person can go into the adult life with the smallest possible curve. Here, we're using the same things, but the goal here is to reduce the curve below surgical threshold so the person doesn't have to consider surgery to be an option. Now, in this stage, we're using a lot of what we used in the earlier stage, we just being made more aggressive with it, maybe using more intensive types of approaches. We're still using chiropractic care, in-office therapy and rehabilitation designed for the scoliosis patient, home therapy, home rehabilitation, and corrective bracing. Now, if at this point, curves are not treated and they still progress, and so what are treatment options for very severe scoliosis patients, meaning 80 degrees or greater? Now, once we start getting to this greater uh, curvature size, meaning greater than 80 degrees, this is, of course, is only one option for a traditional approach, and that's uh, spinal fusion. They don't even consider bracing because why are they going to brace in 80 degrees? Now, we have treated patients that are 80 degrees or greater. Now, we understand that this type of patient, we're not going to reduce below surgical threshold. We're not going to get them below 40. But I have patients that just utterly refuse surgery, meaning they, aren't, they don't want to do it either for religious reasons or personal beliefs. They don't want to have a rod, a rod put in their spine. Can we do something to help them? We can still reduce these curves. I may not get them below 40, maybe we can get them to 60 or something like that if they're an 80 degree curve or 65, but we can still reduce it and we can still make their spine better if they're utterly refusing surgery, but this has a patient would have to refuse surgery in order to be considered a treatment, a treatment candidate. And what we're doing is the same type of care, but we have to understand that this type of patient is gonna have lifelong care because we're never gonna get their curve below surgical threshold. So. If you've been diagnosed with scoliosis, or if you know somebody with scoliosis, or you know, or one of your children has scoliosis, what's my biggest piece of advice? Is to treat it and to treat it early and to reduce it as quickly as you can, because I see what happens with patients when their curves progress. Every patient I've ever treated or have taken care of with a 40, 50, 60 degree curve, they all said, I wish I would have done something sooner right? Because there's no, there, there's no harm in taking a small curve and making it smaller, but letting a curve become bigger can lead to a lot of harm um, and it can really reduce what the end outcome will be. So my biggest piece of advice is to be evaluated properly and to reduce it as soon as you possibly can to have the very best outcome. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.